Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Hope you're having a great day today. Hope this week has been great for you guys as well. I wanted to share some insight for you with you. All right, something just came to my attention. Wanted to share it, see what you guys think, and then we can go from there. So, just jumping right into it. Have you guys ever felt like you are so stuck inside of your body that it feels like it's almost impossible to think outside of it? People always tell you, oh, you don't absorb. Make sure that you just observe. And they don't really tell you how. And it has everything to do with because everybody's how is different. You can't just say one way and how it works for you. And it's going to be the same way how it works for somebody else. And it's going to actually work. People have to go through the experiences on their own. So I'm going to give you guys a couple of examples or some things that I experienced this week. So this past Saturday, I was gifted with going to the Abraham Hicks uh, workshop, which was beautiful, which was amazing. The energy was great in there. I almost got called on to the chair and I was meeting a lot of people that were in that same like mindset. And it it was amazing. But then when you come back out into the real world, you're just like, fuck, I got to go through all this extra stuff again and, and do all this stuff. But it's like at the end of the day, that's not what you think that you really are having to do because now that you have experienced what you needed to at this workshop, you can take that knowledge with you somewhere else. You can actually grow on that knowledge somewhere else for you to have a better experience in life. So fast forward to what's been going on with me this week. A lot of interesting ass changes, but things have been for the better for me no matter what. Okay, and there have been moments where I've been up and down. I literally had to have somewhat of a breakdown in some sense just to be able to get myself back up and keep moving, right? So fast forward to today. Now, of course, I'm in a much better headspace and I'm listening to Joe Dispenza. And first of all, I love Dr. Joe. He's amazing. Everything he talks about when it comes to the quantum physics, when it comes to the mindset and how you can literally heal yourself with the mind and how you are really much more powerful than you really are and how much you really think that you are. It's amazing. And when you really start to listen to more and more of things that he has to say, certain things start to make more sense for you. Because when I first started hearing him, it was like chemistry times calculus, honestly. And it took me some years to really start to understand what he was saying. And I had to go into it through steps. So in this moment in time, what I wanted to share with you guys is understanding that the life that you are living right now is your life, but it's really not. And I'm explaining to you why I say that. How you can see yourself, if you are truly God, as you say, God-like even. Really just say God, like why be God-like? I don't know, of course, you know what the meaning is, but let's go ahead and say what it is. We are literally all in God's image, so therefore we are also God's in our own rights. Okay, and with that being stated, if I start to look at myself now on the outside as a being who wants to be on this earth, who chose to be on this earth, and now I am going through these daily experiences that could either be in my mind, good or bad, if I am embedding my own subconscious into this physical body. Whereas if I remember that I can literally have my subconscious go anywhere because I can choose it, I just so happen to choose this particular vessel until, of course, it, it, it turns to cease. So if I am to choose to be here and I'm choosing to these certain types of experiences now where I literally have the choice. I don't have to be in this house. I don't have to have this car. I don't have to be with this person. But if I'm choosing it, these are the types of decisions and more than likely the results that I'm going to get because of those decisions. We already know that. Consequences, whatever. Okay? So, but what I'm wanting you guys to know is when you get to a place where you feel like you are helpless, where you get to a place where you feel like nobody understands you, when you get to a place to start feeling as if Nothing is working out for you. Everything is, is out to get you. You are forgetting that you do not technically own all of those feelings. Those are not truly yours. They are just what is of the body because of what the body had to go and experience. And the body only knows what the body only knows. But if you have the mind, the mind and the consciousness to understand that we are bigger than the vessel, then we can start to transcend it to a different type of place. So that way we can also bring these desired experiences to us, 
Hence the law of attraction. But it has to be for us to grasp that idea. So that way we are not scared of it. That way we are not intimidated by it because we've been doing it. We just have to remember and to finally execute as the divine beings that we are. When you see people are walking around and calling themselves divine and goddess, Oshun, these things aren't just because they just want to say some things because it sounds good. That's because they have been tapped in. They know who they are. They know what it is that they are capable of. And when you know who you are and what you are capable of, you are not scared or intimidated of shit. You are making things happen. You are creating miracles. People are going to come up to you and say, how did you do that? Like just yesterday, you didn't have anything. Well, I had to change up my mindset. I had to be different. I had to be better for me. And to st it started with me stepping outside of my internal feelings. Not to say that they are not valid. Absolutely pay attention to those. Because at the end of the day, this vessel still has to be learned by you. You still have to understand how this vessel works. You still have to understand what makes you tick, what makes you happy. So that way you can continuously give those experiences that you want and find ways to not to attract the experience that you do not want. That's really all this is. And when you start to think as and being as outside of the physical, outside of the limited, and you start tapping into the unlimited, Right now, I could be talking to you and I'm glowing. Magic. I'm glowing. Okay? But then there's been days where I have definitely been so stuck inside my body and I felt so clouded like I can't see clearly. Then I have to meditate. This is why they say meditation is that segue. It's that path to enlightenment. It's something as simple as quieting all the noise because we're noisy up here. We are saying and hearing and thinking everything up here, and most of it is junk. But when you quiet the noise, you are allowing your subconscious and your consciousness to finally elevate. Thus, now you can do bigger and better things. And to you, because of the consciousness that you are now having, it's small in comparison to what you know that the universe and you as God are capable of doing. Walk into your fucking greatness. Walk into your excellence. It's already there. It's been waiting for you. You are in this body right now. How can you not be great? By being in this body. You could have been a cricket. Peace and love. Please. Walk into your shit. I'm going to continue to do that for myself. But believe me, it's a journey. It's a journey. But as long as you come back to this point and you remember it, you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Things are going to change for you dramatically. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for rocking with me in everything that I do. And believe me, it's a lot. And I, I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. But I will see you guys on the next video. Let me know your thoughts. I'm going to post this on YouTube as well. Let's keep sharing. Let's keep loving. Let's keep supporting. And I'll be here at the next one, all right?